Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV today everyone this is Keith once again and we're going to take a little bit of a different approach and look at Ethereum mining. Recently, well more like a month ago or just over that, I wrote an article over on the website which we'll link in the description where I took a look at the out of the box performance for Ethereum mining across the range of video cards that we have in house that we use for our in our gaming performance test for when new games come out or when we're reviewing a graphics card that we put the numbers up again. This has actually stifled off a few of our reviews that we've been working on for graphics cards because quite frankly what good is a review if there's no graphics card to buy? Well what we wanted to take a look at in this video isn't necessarily it's not a rah rah make free money off your video cards kind of video what we're looking at is what per day you would have made over the past month in profits if you were mining using an RX 570 so we used our RX 570 we didn't modify the BIOS rather we did tweak for efficiency so these are the numbers based on you know the lowest power draw we could get with the card with it mining and just in case anybody's wondering no we didn't run it the, the entire month to mine rather we used crypto compare for uh, the daily output as if every day between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. because of work swing shifts it varies a little bit but I took the number over that at that time in a day what we would make if the price stayed static for that moment now the price does fluctuate as the day goes by but in between that three hour window every day for the from May 27th through July 5th, so just over a month, looking at what the profit per day numbers would look like. And we did the article on the 27th, so we started there. And this chart here shows the bar graph, but it's just a graph, so that's a daily profit with an RX 570 dollars on the left and the dates across the bottom with the bar going across. Now we did this just to show you a graph where you can see where it started, it spiked, and then it's been slowly coming down ever since. So now we're going to add in the actual dollars per day and what that looks like. So you can see on May 27th when we started, it would have netted you a $3.10 profit for that day. And the next day it went up, then it dropped a little bit, but then you see about several days in, it actually spiked up to $5.43. That's a huge increase. And that was when Ethereum hit, peaked out at just over $400 per Ethereum share. Now when it started it was around $200. So you would have thought that it would have doubled but because of the DAG increase, it actually, which is the difficulty at which it's running, the script is increasing. So as the price went up, so did the difficulty, but that's about the time that a lot of people came into the market and a lot of people added to it, to the um, entire pool, which lowered the payout per person, so to say. And ever since then, you can see the price has dropped and dropping down on the 28th to around $2.12 profit. Now, that's profit, you know, the price of the Ethereum and the difficulty. $2.12, it did come back up a bit and then it's slowly been dropping ever since. And actually the day that we did this video, it's dropped even further. So that was July 5th a couple days ago and it's July 7th when I'm doing this and this video is going up on July 8th. So that's something to consider, take into consideration. Now the idea, again, is this video isn't the doom and gloom and uh, or it's more of a precautionary tale for people who are trying to mine with a single GPU and how it's really hard to remain profitable. Now if you have uh, four of these and you're looking at eight dollars a day that's I mean yeah it sounds like it's easy free money but that's a lot of initial investment especially with the price of video cards at the moment so what I'm hoping that we see soon is a you know the relief on the gaming market as this price is kinda coming down I mean it's down over 30 percent from um, just over a month ago so hopefully we'll see some gamers be able to get a hold of graphics cards soon but we just want to take a moment and have a little discussion based around that so again this has been keith with wccf tech tv if you found the video informative or entertaining whatsoever feel free to like and subscribe and we will catch you in the next video